Hello, beautiful people of the internet. So on May 14th, I received a DM on Instagram from a person I'm working on a project with. He told me to call him, and so I did. So, olá, am I então diz? So it turns out that the project that we're working together on, which belongs to the City Hall, wanted to launch merch. And they wanted me to be the designer hired for it! So I was super excited, I had never done anything design related for apparel, only for digital stuff. So after discussing due dates and prices and creative details, I was only left with one problem. And the problem was that they wanted the designs to be delivered in three days. So this was Maya, happy at the phone, trying not to scream and agreeing to give the designs three days later, when she had never done anything like this and had a lot of other work to get done. So let's go! Welcome to the process of Maya designing tote bags and digging herself into a hole because she had never done that before. And she had no idea what she was doing. Just kidding! Hire me please! Okay, day one, 72 hours to go. This was my process on the first day. Nine. Zero. Zero. Niente. I did nothing that day because I had a lot of other freelance work to do for someone that I've been working with, which if you've already followed me on Instagram, you would know who she is. Then I also had some school work to be done, so Friday was just impossible for me to do anything. However, I did know that already in advance, so I planned my weekend in order to give priority to the tote bags. Then Saturday finally came and I actually started the designs. I picked my iPad, my computer, my pen, my brain. Wait, where did I put it? And I read the email he had sent me with all of the details for the project. So, a little bit about the project. The project name is Faro 2027 and basically this is a project where Faro, which is a city, is trying to compete to be the Europeans capital of culture in 2027. I'm part of the project because I'm like kind of one of the faces of the teenagers in the city and so that's how I got into the situation. Okay, so here's what they're telling me. They need at least two designs to print on tote bags whose measures are 20 by 14 centimeters. I can't use more than four colors and I have to include elements that are related to the city. They said they're giving me 100% freedom to do whatever I want because they want this to be appealing to my generation. Um, and yeah, they just sent me a file with some images of things that they think would be cool to include in here. So let's just take a look at the images. Okay, so first of all, I'm seeing an avocado. Not that trendy anymore, but okay. <laughs> then we're seeing lettuce. Oh, figs. I like I like the figs. I think we could do some fun stuff. Peacocks? Oh my god. I literally once had a peacock in the inside of my school. <laughs> then this cat. I don't really like it. Um, This fruit. Okay, okay. Let's see what we can do with that. Okay, so because I don't have a lot of time, I'm going to skip the mood board, like doing a really pretty mood board. I'm just going to be doing something very simple and then jumping into col the color palette. I'm thinking something fun, bright, like maybe primary colors. I just need the colors to contrast between each other to make sure that I can only use them for. I really had nothing in mind to start with, so I literally just went with my pen and doodled and saw what came out of it. I started outlining some of the things and making some very childish fun messy draws that were simple but bright and fun. I then started to create patterns and I ended up liking this one. Okay, I just sent in my first design and I'm kind of having a mental breakdown because it's fun and I like it and it like it has everything that they're asking for. But when I ask myself if I would buy the tote bag, I don't think I would buy it. Thing is they were asking for my style, for my aesthetic, for my designs. They gave me creative freedom. So they sh these tote bags should be something that I myself like and I don't love this, you know what I mean? Ugh. With that said, I started trying to do something more modern and cool, but after looking at it from an outsider's perspective, I came to the same conclusion. I just wasn't sure if people my age would want to buy these soap bags, because even I had doubts if I would even buy them. So I went ahead and started my third design. If you know Portugal, you know we have beautiful beaches and sun basically all the time, so Faro isn't an exception, and I explored the concept of the sun. Okay, I'm in my living room because I needed to switch up spaces to see if my brain would just be more creative. And I don't know, I just feel like I learned my first lesson. 
because I'm having another mental breakdown. The thing is, like, I made these drawings that you've probably already seen on the screen, and I like them, but I made so many versions, and I always do this to myself. I always just do too many versions of everything, and now I sent them in to them asking for feedback, but I don't know which one of them they're gonna choose, and I think I have a favorite. And the thing is, if I'm the designer, I should be choosing the things. You know, I think what I'm learning is like, I don't need to send things for feedback. Like, it's cool to send over some stuff, see if we're in the same page, but I think I'm doing that too much. And if I'm the designer, I should be responsible for taking those decisions. So I think I do this because I'm insecure, but it's not my job to always be sending versions. So overall, if you're in a creative field or in the design world, just don't, don't send a bunch of material to your client. Like, keep them updated, but don't be overwhelming. Because now I'm afraid that I'm being overwhelming. Future clients that are watching this, you can hire me, you can email me. And I promise I won't overwhelm you with a lot of versions. Lesson learned. And then day three rolled around. 24 hours to send the designs. So on that day, I thought I basically had finished everything and I was ready to go. But guess what? I was talking to my boyfriend on the phone and we started to think of ways to make the tote bags more fun and comic. And so he came up with an idea of a fish smoking a pipe on an art chair with a funny phrase. For those of you who aren't Portuguese, you're not gonna get our inside Portuguese joke. And this is going to seem like the funniest, most random phrase you'll ever hear in your life. But basically the phrase that we came up with, basically the direct translation from Portuguese to English of that phrase is, you are such a horse racing mackerel. Yep, that makes no sense. So I basically just started doodling this and I made a bunch of versions and I just started to panic because this was my favorite idea but it was the most complicated one to do. I got stressed out because I wasn't getting my perspectives right and those are definitely not my highest strengths. So I literally spent the whole day getting other work done and getting back to drawing literally fishes with pipes and try to make something good come out of it. Oh my god, spending a whole day drawing fishes holding pipes sounds like the most depressing thing ever, but I swear I was having fun kind of, while stressing out. Anyways, I really liked the concept itself and I liked the idea that I was not only submitting more feminine ideas but also a more masculine and full of humor idea. And you know, I just spent the whole day doing that and I am not kidding when I say that it was midnight and 14 minutes when I submitted my email with the designs. And as soon as I clicked send, I closed my computer and I went to bed. So overall, doing this project and getting out of my comfort zone taught me a lot. And besides the lessons I mentioned in the video, I learned how important it is as a designer to feel fulfilled with the work you put in. The thing is, I could have sent the first design to them because they liked it and it completely fulfilled all of the requirements they gave me. But I wasn't happy with it and so I made another version and another version and that's really characteristic from my work. I just do a bunch of completely different versions of the same work because I can't stick to just one aesthetic. Why am I moving my head so much? Um, and I just received an email back with their feedback literally yesterday because it's been a week and guess what? They actually picked out the fish idea, the last one, which literally just proves that hard work pays off and that's like the biggest lesson that I would like you to take out from this video. For all of those of you who are in creative fields or in any other field, just use this as a reminder to know that hard work pays off. At the end of the day, I was paid the same by doing four ideas or two ideas or one idea. So it wasn't about the money, it was about feeling like I was doing my best and like I was really showing my worth as a designer. Anyways, that was my story time. That's why I didn't post last week because I was literally all weekend, which was the time I had reserved for my channel working on this project. And I thought it would make fun content even though it wasn't planned. So I hope you will forgive me for not posting last Monday. And um, that's all for today and I'll see you next Monday. Bye!